so I've got the bed off and the bottom of mine looks like it's got some insulation on it this looks like the element underneath so for me to put the, um, the new silicon heater on realistically I need to stick it straight onto the element I don't think there's any need to remove it so <clears throat> rather quick pull on it, some of it's peeling away, some of it's not, so I think I'm just going to peel it away using a scraper from the kit and um, just slicing it from underneath I'm doing this really gently, I don't want to damage the original element if I can avoid it because you never know, you may need it The beeping noise you can hear is um, the wife doing some cooking. Say hello, wife. Hi, So having scraped off all the loose insulation, I'm going to now, and the beeping is the wife again, not her personally, but the cooking. She's trying not to laugh out loud. I'm just going to bear these wires back. I'm not going to cut it off directly here, just in case I knew read need to reinstate this board so I'm going to leave a little bit of wiring loose and I'm not going to cut the wiring for the temperature probe Looks like it's one long piece of tape. Or should I say a wide piece of tape? Which way you really want to look at it? Pull that back a bit. Just a snip it there. Okay. 
alcohol as a cleaning agent. Right, I'm cleaning it, or cleaning off what's left of the sticky stuff with alcohol and just cotton wipes, but you could use anything really. Um, in the Kiva, Kiva of Kinevo, Kinevo, I don't even know how you pronounce it to be fair. In the general instructions that come with the Kinevo silicon heat pad, it gives you do not use gasoline or acetone. Um, but then it does go on to say uh, apply a uh, a sealant such as Loctite 5399 but this one comes with an adhesive base to it so I don't see that this is relevant this must be just a general guide to some of their other products so like I say I'm using alcohol and cotton wipes I'm probably going to end up very high at the end of it. So this is the um, silicon heat pad from Kenovo. You see it's 220 volts, 240 volts UK. Um, it's 1000 watts. I know you can get these in 120 volts as well. So it's got to go on, wiring to the back, same as the original. I've had a quick eye up and luckily on the original there's this white border and if you line it up with the edge of that so it just covers it it sticks on or will stick on just about right so that's what I'm going to do next So to mark it clearer, because it actually covers the white line, I've put little bits of masking tape just so I can line up against those masking tape as I stick it, or masking tape as I stick it down.
Hasta la